And, and for all the reasons that Craig, Craig just stated, I, I thought that was as clear-cut a decision as, as you can ask for. While there may be some debate, well, I, I'll be honest, I, I thought the, the, the initial Real Madrid penalty was not. But while there may be some debate about that, while there may be some debate about how VAR intervenes, I, I thought this was as straightforward a refereeing decision as, as anybody could ask for. And, and you can expect that a referee at this level of the game gets right. How he, how he doesn't is, is simply beyond me. And this is not about VAR or anything else. This is just about a referee having a very poor game, and as, as Villarreal fans will point out, um, all those all those decisions seem to go Real Madrid's but, way. But this is this is this is this is this is the double frustration. Ferland Mendes pulled the player back. Mm -hmm. There's no attempt to play the ball, so it should be a straight red. It was a fast game, you know. It was I think it was 3-0 at the time. Uh, the referee may have been a bit confused. Yellow card. Hello. We have somebody yeah. in the booth who has an ear, who has direct contact with the referee to say, "Listen, you've given a yellow. That this in law is a straight red. Uh, before the penalty is taken, go and go and deal with this." Yeah. What, where, where the hell was the video assistant referee? Why wasn't he telling the referee you've made a mistake but, by the laws of the game, Shaka? But but. But to that, to that point, Craig, and this is something that I've been a little bit resistant, or a bandwagon I've been a little bit resistant to jump on. I, has the standard for refereeing just dropped because yes. of VAR? I mean, there's VAR there, and yes, we could ask VAR why they don't intervene, but this is a, that's, that's straightforward refereeing. VAR should not have to intervene in this. There's no rocket science. There's no gray area around this. And while I've heard other people say it in the past, and I've been like, no, you can't just, you can't just accuse refereeing of, referees of dropping their own standards. This is as clear an indication of, of that may very well be the case. That, uh, this shouldn't be about VAR. And, and, and before we go, and also if there's any Real Madrid fans kicking the TV as we speak, the usual bias and all that, it was 3 0, the penalty was scored, it was 3 1. Yes, Real Madrid dominated the game. I understand that, but we need consistency all down the league. Doesn't matter if you're playing for Real Madrid or Cadiz or Elche or Getafe or Granada. Doesn't matter. The laws are the laws. At 3-1 after the penalty was scored, there was 14 minutes plus injury time for Valencia to play against 10 men. So the argument is, we don't know if that would have made a difference. That's why that decision had to be called correctly. Mm. And to the point that Chaka made. And of course, go ahead, Chaka. Of course, if Mendy gets a red card, he's then suspended for yes. what is it? A, a game? I, I, I think it is. That has that has a yes. bearing on, or, or may have a bearing on the on. What happened between now and the end of the season as well? I mean, it's just ridiculous. To one of the points that, that Shaka made there, and, and something that you tweeted last night, the and calls... I, I must admit, I was tweeting a lot here. last night. But you, for, you for point me, out, the calls me. go Real Madrid's way. And, and, and there's, if you're saying it, you know, you're not a, a fan of one side or another. No, you're, you're I, seeing it. this season I am seeing... So I mean, and the other point I would make is, we're hearing rhetoric from the Premier League, people that follow the Premier League at the moment saying... We need to get officials in from abroad because the officials in England are not good enough. No, you don't. Watch other leagues, <laughs> right? The officials are equally as bad around most of the big, what we would call the big European countries. But I'm telling you, as somebody pointed out to me, well, you used to play for Celtic, one of the two biggest teams in Scotland. You should be used to getting uh, most of the calls. As a player, you don't see it that way. But when you take a step back and as a pundit and look at it, mm -hmm. Actually, I'm seeing Barcelona, who are struggling, but and Real Madrid, getting a lot of calls this year that I'm looking and going, how the hell has that not been uh, rescinded or overturned? And we saw the... I mean, I'll give you an example. The other week, Real Madrid again, Casemiro, I think it was the Cadiz game, made a cynical two-footed challenge and only saw a yellow yep. card. It was a red card if I've ever seen one. And again, they got that decision. And I think... It's not acceptable to the other clubs in Spain that the big two in particular are getting a lot of these big calls. Yeah, another example of that maybe yesterday in the Barcelona game, Gerard Piquet clearly should have been a, a second yellow. It, it stays in the pocket and he stays on the field. Luis, I wonder how much scrutiny the refs are under, how much a talking point it is uh, in Spain, specifically this season, all the big calls that seem to be going to the big clubs. 
It's always, we, we can hear sometimes, uh, also on social media, networks, uh, newspapers, and well, a little bit on the news, on TV, but at the end they go very quick away because at the end, uh, like you guys are mentioning, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, they are getting sometimes in favor of, uh, of the side, but I'm not a big fan of conspiracy theories mm. and these kind of things sometimes is, uh, they are overwhelming for me as well. So I don't understand that or I don't think that the referees when they are on the field, they got enough time to think, oh, it's uh, Real Madrid now, I'm going to whistle a penalty or it's uh, Casemiro, I'm, I'm not going give, gonna to give it a, a red card. I think it can happen. That they are bad referees during the whole season, during the games. Yes, the, sometimes it's true that they go to Barcelona and Real Madrid. But listen, guys, tonight we were watching the game and Probably the first one, it wasn't a penalty. The goal, I think it, it, it shouldn't have been disallowed. So you can see during the whole game and every single game during the, the, uh, the weekend that they are bad referees and mm. VAR is not working properly. And we have so many distractions during the games that the, we think that it could have been better. But it's the way the football it is. And it's been like this for hundreds of years. And we continue having the same problems. We don't agree with the referees. We're still thinking that they could uh, do better. VAR arrived and we're still complaining about the decisions that they take from VAR and from referees. So I think that's why we love football. And we have to understand that football is going to continue like this forever. And Well, listen, Craig, Sebastian and Saka, we have this job. We can comment. If there is a playing game, we, we don't have jobs anymore. We cannot talk about this situation. So I'm happy that we can continue talking well, we, about we, we this situation. We, we were lucky enough to play for some of the bigger clubs. Uh, so we got what we perceived from other That's fans. not unique to Spain, right? It's, it's not unique to Spain. That's, what, not, that's not, what I was about to say. So, sorry, Craig. Uh, Lewis played for Liverpool and Barcelona. He got all the calls. <laughs> he got every single call there was. <laughs> Well, I know, and it's like, when, my, when I left Chelsea to go to Celtic, everybody in Scotland thinks that Rangers and Celtic are the only ones that get penalties mm -hmm. and get referees' decisions. But I think, what, what, in my opinion, what's happened is the game's got better, the game's got faster, the players have got quicker and are technically better, and the referees across Europe, maybe the rest of the world, whilst it's not an easy job, I think have actually got poorer. Mm. There are not as many good officials in each country as there used to be. There are some good officials, but there is not enough. And when you think you have to man uh, the games now, you have to man being the fourth official, and you have to have people in VAR, then resources are stretched. Mm. And what we're seeing is here decisions in a lot of these big games across all the big leagues in Europe that are real head scratchers. And if they're head scratchers for us, what do you think they are for the supporters? Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.